Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Urban Pokemon. This trainer is not suitable. Chapter 11. At this time, Luo Yuan obediently raised his hand and said, I have a question right now. Um, Luo Weijin was puzzled with a nasal voice. That's why trainer fights in person, why doesn't trainer stand outside the arena and command Pokemon to fight? In Luo Yuan's impression, not all duels are like this in animations, why is trainer so dangerous here? Luo Weijin didn't expect Luo Yuan to ask such a question, she thought for a while and said, dot the kind of trainer you mentioned is not without the method of standing outside the field and directing Pokemon to fight. But it's all for safety. The Pokemon combat practice courses that I participated in from elementary school to high school, aren't they all fighting in this way, haven't you participated? Oh, sorry, forgot you were afraid of Pokemon before, probably never had a similar practical class. Luo Yuan's face turned black at this moment, I'm really sorry that I haven't attended this kind of course. But the way that the trainer stands outside the court and directs, is it just a child's game? After arriving at university, it will naturally be changed to this way of the trainer playing in person, which also allows the trainer to experience the real battle scene in advance. As a trainer, it is impossible not to go to the secret realm. In addition to collecting resources to cultivate Pokemon there, it is also to protect the public from the intrusion of those secret realm Pokemon. This is the basic obligation of a trainer. And in the wild living environment of the secret realm, let alone a team, if you are alone, you will not have to face one Pokemon, or even ten Pokemon, but hundreds or thousands of Pokemon. Wild Pokemon don't fight you one on one, it might be a whole pack fighting you. The same wild Pokemon will not only fight Pokemon, but not attack trainer, and even those wild Pokemon have a much higher probability of attacking trainer than Pokemon attacking you. Trainers naturally have to learn how to survive in this environment, which is why the mortality rate of trainers is high. After a pause, Luo Weijin said again, to give a simpler example, if someone wants to use Pokemon to do bad things, would they still have a Pokemon duel with you for a fair fight? Of course it's easier to attack trainer directly while you're not paying attention, but that's illegal. Hearing Luo Weijin's explanation, Luo Yuan felt that it made sense. After all, reality is not a game, and it will not play turn-based games with you. Animation is also sub-oriented, and it is impossible to show the cruelty of reality. Now Luo Yuan is in a real world, and now this rule is more in line with reality. Okay, I'm going back to my room to rest, Altaria, let's go back to my room. Luo Weijin greeted Altaria. She. Altaria let out a cry of joy, and flew to her room with Luo Weijin. At this time, Luo Mu said, By the way, I have a friend in the Hawaiian island of Unova, and I want to bring her son and daughter to our house as a guest. Weijin, you also go home that night to meet the guests. Luo Weijin waved her hand and said, Understood, if I don't have an urgent task that day, I will definitely come back. Luo Yuan also stood up at this time. Then I will go back to the room too, Ladius, let's go back. Laddie, Ladius let out a joyful cry, and floated towards Luo Yuan's room faster than Luo Yuan. Seeing that her son and daughter had gone back to the house, Luo's mother also said to Luo's father. Then I will go back to the house to write a manuscript. You can watch TV by yourself here. Go, go, I'll watch the news broadcast for a while. Luo's father signaled Luo's mother to go back, and when Luo's mother also went back to the house, he took out a pokey ball and opened it. A Lapras appears in the house. Lapu. Lapras let out a cry and put his head lightly on Father Luo's lap. Father Luo touched Lapras while watching the news, feeling that he could finally release Pokemon at home. In the past, because of Luo Yuan, there were no Pokemon at home. Luo Yuan, who returned to the room, looked at Latius floating in front of him, and suddenly slapped his head and said. I almost forgot, you haven't eaten yet, Latius. Luo Yuan thought that Latius hadn't eaten anything tonight. Laddie, I'm hungry. Latius immediately looked at Luo Yuan with a tearful look. What do you want to eat? Lady, the owner loves to eat everything. Let's go, let's go to the kitchen to cook. I'm a little tired today, so I won't cook anything too complicated for you. Just make do with it. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Luo Yuan has experienced too many things today, and Luo Yuan feels a little tired. 
Latius arched his head against Luo Yuan, shouting happily. Luo Yuan touched her head with his hand, it was as smooth as jade, very comfortable to touch. Opening the bedroom door and going out, walking around the corridor to the living room, Luo Yuan saw his father who was watching TV. Father Luo turned around suspiciously, looked at Luo Yuan and asked. Why are you out again? Luo Yuan stared at Lapras and replied, cook for Latius. Also, your Lapras is so handsome. He made a point of putting emphasis on the name, Lapras, which was a name Lapras used to use. Father Luo blushed, waved his hands and said, Go, go, cook your meal. What happened to Lapras, isn't Lapras a dragon? Is there any problem with my dragon type master using Lapras? Luo Yuan brought Latias to the open kitchen, thinking that Pokemon seem to eat energy cubes, right? But he doesn't know how to do that stuff. Latias seems to have been eating the human food he cooked in the past, so it should be fine, right? Taking out the eggs and cucumbers, Luo Yuan decided to make the simplest plate of scrambled eggs with cucumbers. After seeing a lot of berries at home, he hesitated and asked. Latias, which of these do you like to eat? Although he doesn't know how to make energy cubes, Luo Yuan thinks that adding some berries to meals will make Pokemon love them more. Latias pointed to one of the yellow berries with his little paw, and Luo Yuan didn't know what it was, so he took it when he saw that Latias liked it. The method of starting a fire and cooking is still the same as in the past, but this time the material of tree fruit is added. Latias floated beside Luo Yuan, looking at the food in the pot, swallowed. This simple dish was too easy for Luo Yuan, and it didn't take long for the meal to come out. At this time, he found that his father's Lapras ran to his side at some point, swallowing his mouth while looking at the food in the pot. Latias stared at it viciously. This is my meal. Lapras is not shy either, and his docile personality also turns fierce. Seeing this scene, Luo Yuan smiled helplessly, and said to Lapras. You also pick a berry, and I'll make you another one. Lapu. Lapras called out cheerfully, ignored Latias, and went to the side to pick the berries. At this time, Luo Yuan was convinced that the meals he cooked seemed to have an inexplicable appeal to Pokemon. Back in the house, Latias started to eat the simple plate of scrambled eggs with cucumber, and after eating, he stuck out his little tongue and licked the plate clean. She raised her slender neck, looked drunk, and shouted joyfully. Laddie, no, no more. Latias, I want to fly, the meal with tree fruit is even more delicious. I feel my body has a fiery breath expanding. The body, the body is going to break. Seeing Latias intoxicated, Luo Yuan assured that he really didn't take drugs. Lapras, what's the matter with you? Lapras, are you drunk? Take it easy. Through the bedroom door, Luo Yuan could still hear his father shouting growl in a panic in the living room. No need to guess, after eating the meal he cooked, Lapras probably became as drunk as Latias, just like taking medicine. At this time, Luo Yuan didn't have time to pay attention to the panic shouting of his father outside, he was frowning at Latias who collapsed on the ground. Well, what should we do now? Can only wait for Latias himself smelling salts. Just when Luo Yuan was at a loss, Latias himself, smelling salts, came over. Lati, with a cry of joy, Latias floated up his body and rubbed his little head against Luo Yuan vigorously. The feathers, which were as smooth as crystal jade, rubbed against Luo Yuan's body, making Luo Yuan feel very itchy. Is it really so delicious? Luo Yuan patted Latias's head lightly, and asked suspiciously. Luo Yuan also tried the meal just now. Although Rival is very confident, it tastes really good. But it was really just a plate of plain cucumber scrambled eggs, why did Latias have such a reaction? It's delicious, the food made by the master is the best. Since eating the food made by the master, I have become a lot stronger. It tastes even better after adding berries. Master must continue to add berries when cooking next time. Latias flapped his wings vigorously, his big eyes narrowed into crescents, and said happily. You mean, you became so strong after eating the food I cooked? Looking at the level 70 logo above Latias' head, Luo Yuan asked in astonishment. Yeah, that's it. Every time I eat the meal made by the master, I feel stronger. After adding berries to the meal, the effect is even better. Latias' cheerful voice sounded from Luo Yuan's mind. Hearing her words, Luo Yuan fell into deep thought. 
He looked down at his hands, wondering when did he have this ability. Could it be that this is my golden finger, which can make Pokemon stronger by cooking? If this is the case, then I seem to be more suitable to be a breeder. Although I don't know what level of Pokemon Latias was in the past, but after feeding her for 10 years, I fed her to a champion level. And it's because he feeds her every meal, not every meal. Especially, according to Latias, it's even better if you add berries to your meals. If I had known this earlier and fed it well, I didn't know how many powerful Pokemon I could breed for 10 years, and I would probably be the champion by now. Ah, that's not true, I hadn't traveled back then, and there was no such thing as tree fruit in the reality, so I can only think about it. Luo Yuan was thinking wildly. Since you like my cooking so much, starting tomorrow, I will cook three meals for you in different ways. Luo Yuan said solemnly, Laddie, long live. Latias rubbed his head against Luo Yuan's face excitedly, Luo Yuan couldn't help but push her away and said with a smile. Okay, okay, stop rubbing. Luo Yuan rubbed Latias's head, he let out a sigh and said. I've experienced too many things today, I'm really sleepy, let's go to sleep first. Seeing this, Latias didn't bother him anymore, but floated aside by himself. But before rest, Luo Yuan has one more thing to do. He turned on his computer, rummaged through the hard drive, and found that although the world had changed, the audio and video files in his computer hadn't changed for no apparent reason. The only thing that frustrates him is that all the movies of the teacher in the island country he saved in the computer are gone. Where is my teacher teaching film with both virtue and art? Luo Yuan let out a weak cry, and finally couldn't stand the exhaustion of accepting too many things today, so he lay down on the bed and fell asleep. Dot dot dot. The next day. Boom boom boom. Little brother, haven't you woken up yet? Didn't I tell you to register for trainer qualification today, and then get a Pokemon? Luo Yuan was woken up by the sound of her sister knocking on the door outside the house. He opened his eyes suddenly and quickly sat up on the bed. With Luo Yuan waking up, Latias, who had been floating in midair beside Luo Yuan, curled up to rest, also opened his big golden eyes. Laddie, good morning, good morning, Latias. Luo Yuan greeted Latias, then pinched his face. It's not a dream, it's real, I really, traversed, into a world where Pokemon merged with reality, and then I got a Latias as soon as I came up. Taking a deep breath to calm himself down, Luo Yuan said to Latias embarrassedly. Quote dot dot dot, yesterday I promised to give you three meals that are delicious in different ways, but today it looks like I'm going to renege on my promise. My sister is urging me so much, I guess I don't have time to make breakfast. Laddie, never mind, Latias doesn't care. Luo Yuan smiled and patted Latias' head. Ah, Pokemon are such lovely creatures, living in this Pokemon world is almost like a fairy tale. With that in mind, Luo Yuan walked to the door and opened the door. As soon as the door opened, I saw my sister standing there with her arms folded, and Altaria was floating beside her. Old sister, why are you knocking on the door so hard, the door was broken by you. Luo Yuan complained, didn't it be agreed yesterday to go to the Imperial Capital Alliance to register as a trainer, so take a look at what time it is now. Luo Weijin raised her brows upside down. Yes yes yes, I see, good morning, Altaria. Luo Yuan excused Luo Weijin a few words, then greeted Altaria with a smile. She, Altaria also made a singing sound. Seeing that her younger brother was no longer afraid of Pokemon, and would say good morning to Pokemon, Luo Weijin smiled, turned around and said. Quote dot dot dot, okay, hurry up and wash up, eat something in the morning, and we'll set off. Luo Yuan didn't compete with his sister in this aspect, he went to the bathroom to wash up, and then came to the living room. Luo's father and Luo's mother had already gone to work at this time, and breakfast such as buns and fried dough sticks were left on the dining table. In addition to these, there are two plates with cube-like food inside, which Luo Yuan guessed should be energy cubes. Luo Weijin was afraid that Luo Yuan would not understand the knowledge of being a trainer, so she explained to him in detail. Quote dot dot dot, these are energy cubes, as you should know, there are several types of energy cubes according to their quality. In terms of taste, there is no difference between energy cubes of different qualities, the difference is only in the amount of energy in them. 
In fact, even low-quality energy cubes are enough for Pokémon to grow. However, the more powerful Pokémon are, the more energy they consume every day. In order to maintain their strength, they must eat high-quality energy cubes. If it's just the kind of Pokémon raised in the family, you don't need to participate in Pokémon duels and competitions, then in fact, just eating low-quality energy cubes is enough. Low-quality energy cubes are very cheap, and the normal family can afford them, but if you want breeder Pokémon, you need high-quality ones, and the higher the quality, the better. It's a lot of money to pay for this part, and I will send you some at that time, so that Latias has enough nutritional supplements. For her younger brother, Luo Weijin is very generous, and the energy cubes are not so expensive no matter how expensive they are. This is just a kind of resource of Pokémon breeder. Even for champion-level Pokémon, it's actually only a few hundred thousand a month. For normal people, this is an astronomical figure, but for a trainer of Luo Weijin's level, it is really sprinkling water. Ha, huh, why don't you eat it, Latias, is it not to your taste? At this moment, Luo Weijin noticed that Latias just fiddled with the energy cubes on the plate with his paws, but did not eat them. She frowned, a little strangely. She is a dragon elite, and she will carry all the favorite flavors of dragon Pokemon. Seeing how happy Altaria is eating, why doesn't Latias like it? Could it be that the Pokemon of the mythical beast has a different taste from other Pokemon? Seeing Luo Weijin's doubts, Latias reluctantly took a bite in order not to make her sad. Ah, it's not tasty, it's far from the meal made by the owner. And the energy in it can only replenish physical strength, unlike the meal cooked by the owner, it can make my whole body warm up. After barely eating another piece, Latias didn't want to eat anything, because ten years had already spoiled her mouth. Maybe she's not hungry. Seeing her sister's self-doubt, Luo Yuan hurriedly said. Well, it may be that Latias is not hungry. In fact, Pokemon does not need to eat every day. Under normal circumstances, eating once every three days is enough to maintain physical strength. These are energy cubes handmade by the top breeders. It's impossible for Pokemon not to like them. Luo Weijin could only forcefully explain in this way. The two of them solve the breakfast in threes and fives. Let's go, I've already greeted the Imperial Capital Alliance and the Breeding Center. Luo Weijin spoke to Luo Yuan, and the two put away the Pokemon and went downstairs. Luo Weijin has her own car, and as the current Sha Guo elite, she will never be short of money. In this world, trainer is a symbol of a country's image and strength. They have duties similar to soldiers, protecting ordinary people from wild Pokemon. At the same time, it is also a popular idol group such as singers, movie stars, and athletes. As the current elite, and a beautiful woman, even a rare dragon elite, Luo Weijin has a very high reputation both domestically and internationally. Therefore, just to endorse some brands, the annual income is hundreds of millions. This is still a brand endorsement. However, although Luo Weijin is rich, she still lives a relatively low-key life. Although she is also high-end in her attire, she never shows herself. Just like the car she drives, it's just a family scooter worth more than 400,000 yuan, which is really too low-key for Luo Weijin's income. Of course, mainly as a trainer, her breeder Pokemon costs a lot of money every year. Sit in the co-pilot, fasten your seat belt, and the car drives into the street, heading for the center of the imperial capital. The center of each city has its own city alliance, and the issuance and assessment of trainer certificates are also in these places. Even in the Pokemon world, the streets of the Imperial Capital are full of traffic. Half an hour later, the two arrived at their destination. Arrive, parking the car in the parking lot, Luo Weijin took Luo Yuan out of the car. Luo Yuan followed her sister, and instead of going to the main entrance of the Imperial Capital Alliance, she walked in directly from the side entrance. There, there was already a young lady waiting, and it was the staff here. Luo Elite, you are here. I'm sorry, the director of the Imperial Capital Alliance has something to do today and is not here. Is this the person you said is going to conduct today's trainer assessment? When the young lady saw Luo Weijin, she looked excited, and she seemed to be a fan, so she stepped forward and said respectfully to Luo Weijin. She was full of admiration. If it wasn't for the wrong location, she would have pulled out a pen and paper and asked Luo Weijin to sign it. Well, this is my brother, you take him. Forget it, 
I'll take him to the examination room. Also tell Uncle He that there is no need to go through this form, we are already so familiar. When she was outside, Luo Weijin completely lost the Solacean attitude she had at home. She didn't look arrogant, but she was calm and measured, and her words had the bearing of a superior. Okay, the special examination room has been prepared for you, please come with me. The little sister hurriedly led the way. Hearing the special examination room that the young lady mentioned, it seemed that it was specially opened, and there was a special person to lead the way, Luo Yuan immediately felt a kind of privilege. He couldn't help but look at his elder sister. Luo Weijin was unsmiling at this time, calm and introverted, which made Luo Yuan sigh, so his older sister had such a reputation outside. Not only is there a special receptionist, even the alliance director of the imperial capital will explain his itinerary in advance. It seems that I still don't understand the particularity of Elite Four in the country. Sister, what is the assessment? Is it difficult? Won't there be a written test? Walking in the corridor, Luo Yuan couldn't help asking in a low voice. That's all I know about Pokemon. If you send me a weird picture and ask me what Pokemon it is, I'll know it's Gengar. Why does this need to be assessed as a trainer? What is the content of the assessment? Should talent be tested? Then if my talent is low-grade spiritual root, do I have to shout, don't bully the young and poor? Luo Weijin glanced at him and said in a low voice, don't worry, the assessment is very simple. Since you can make Latias approve, you must be fine. But I was Latias who was bribed with food, so should I bribe the examiner with food? Feeling anxious, Luo Yuan came to the door of the so-called special examination room. The young lady who led the way opened the door and motioned for Luo Yuan to come in, while looking at him curiously, probably because Luo Elite had a younger brother. But if you take a closer look at the two, they really look alike. Luo Yuan thanked him, took a deep breath, and walked into the examination room as if on a battlefield. The interior of the examination room is very simple, just an ordinary table, and sitting behind the table is a, um, the evolution of Togepi, Togetic. Boku, the examiner Togetic, who was sitting behind the desk, greeted Luo Yuan. The corner of Luo Yuan's mouth twitched in response, and he looked around, as if no one else was there. In other words, this examiner is really this Togetic. Luo Yuan sat opposite Togetic in doubt, one person and one Pokemon stared at each other like this. Ten seconds later, Boku, Togetic suddenly cried out happily. Luo Yuan was stunned and said, Is it over, Boku? Then, am I qualified? Boku, Togetic nodded vigorously. What the hell, is this the so-called trainer assessment? It's too perfunctory. Could it be that my sister used her privileges to let me go through the back door? Too bad, I'm going to become the second generation that I hate the most. When Luo Yuan walked out of the special examination room, he saw his elder sister Luo Weijin with one hand on her waist, standing at the door waiting for him. Seeing Luo Yuan come out, Luo Weijin said with a slight smile on the corner of her mouth. I knew you would pass the examination, little brother. It's a paperless office now and your trainer certificate will be bound to your ID card at that time, and you can check it online. Now that you are a trainer, you are eligible to receive Earl Dervish Pokemon. The National Alliance Breeding Center is in the outskirts of the Imperial Capital, a little far from here. Let's rush over now, we can still be there before lunch. Luo Weijin raised her hand to look at the watch on her wrist, and said. What's the matter with this assessment? Walking to the parking lot outside the building with her sister, Luo Yuan couldn't help asking. Think it's a joke. Luo Weijin slightly raised her head and glanced at her younger brother. Luo Weijin is close to 1.7 meters tall, but facing Luo Yuan who is about 1.8 meters tall, she is still a head short. Yes, it's this kind of inexplicable child's play feeling. Luo Yuan nodded vigorously. When I went to participate in the assessment, I was just as surprised as you. As for the principle of this assessment, I only learned about it later. These things are a long story, I will tell you on the way. Luo Yuan and Luo Weijin came to the parking lot and got on the car. Luo Weijin explained to Luo Yuan while starting the car and driving. Quote dot dot dot, Togedic is a very magical Pokemon. After many researchers research, it was found that Togedic can feel the kindness of human beings. This kindness 
is a very general interpretation, and you can roughly understand it as whether a person likes Pokemon or has love for Pokemon. It is also after the discovery of Togetic's ability that all countries use Togetic as an important indicator to assess whether a person can become a trainer. Hearing his sister's explanation, Luo Yuan frowned slightly and asked, is this to prevent evil people from becoming trainers and doing illegal things with Pokemon? Luo Weijin shook her head and said, it's not for this reason. If there are people who have not registered with the country to subdue breeder Pokemon, it is not so easy to find. The National Pokemon Alliance stopped it not for this reason, but for not wasting resources. Do you know why Pokemon is divided into Champion, Elite, and Gym? That is actually dividing trainer. Pokemon does not need to be endlessly supplied with resources to allow it to grow infinitely. Otherwise, anyone can be a trainer, and anyone can breeder a champion level or even master level Pokemon. But in fact, there are very few trainers who can breed champion level Pokemon, and this kind of trainer is also at the top of the entire trainer group. Others can't breeder produce champion level Pokemon. It's not simply that the supply of resources is insufficient, but that they don't really love Pokemon. These people are likely to use Pokemon as a tool. On the surface, they love Pokemon, but they may use Pokemon as a prop to become famous and stronger. The thing, bond, is real, but science cannot quantify it. If you want breeder to produce a champion level Pokemon, in addition to sufficient resources and hard training, you need to have a bond with the Pokemon, have feelings, and be able to communicate with each other. Only in this way, your Pokemon will respond to you becoming stronger. And if you don't have a bond with the Pokemon, then no matter how much you train, the Pokemon will not become stronger. If Pokemon can really Solacean breeder, then the strongest trainers should be those old men and women in their 70s and 80s, and they will all breeder Pokemon for a lifetime. But for the vast majority of people, they may not be able to breed an elite level Pokemon in their lifetime, because their bond with Pokemon is nothing more than that. Luo Weijin said a lot in one breath, she took a sip of water from the water glass on the car with one hand, and continued, dot now you understand the importance of the assessment. If you don't have any love for Pokemon from the very beginning, then the country will not be able to train you, and it will directly pass you off, saving resources from being wasted. Before discovering Togetic's capabilities, countries actually had the monopoly of the trainer class, and most of the resources were controlled by those powerful trainers. And the descendants of these trainers can be born with massive resources, but only a very small number of these, second generations, can become trainers, and most of them poor resources, and they cannot breed powerful Pokemon. After discovering the importance of bonds, this situation will never happen again, and the monopoly of the trainer class will no longer exist, because, trainer, cannot be inherited, and you can only rely on yourself. Speaking of this, Luo Weijin took another serious look at Luo Yuan, and said solemnly. So, little brother, don't use your Pokemon as a tool, and don't think that you are superior to others because you are human. You have to treat Pokemon as friends and family members. Only in this way, Pokemon will respond to you. Pokemon are pure creatures. They will make themselves stronger in order to respond to their trainer's expectations. Luo Weijin's long speech gave Luo Yuan a more detailed understanding of the basic structure and operating rules of the world. To put it simply, each level of Pokemon has a bottleneck in the Leapfrog upgrade. In addition to resources and training, you also need to have enough bonds with Pokemon. If you don't have enough bonds with Pokemon, then Pokemon will probably be stuck at the elite level forever, and you won't be able to rise to the champion level for a lifetime. No matter how many resources you give, no matter how hard you train, this is the power of the bond between trainer and Pokemon. This made Luo Yuan feel that the world is really relatively fair. Because no matter how strong the parents or trainers, children may not necessarily like Pokemon, and may even rebel and hate Pokemon since childhood, and they will not be able to inherit everything from their parents. And because Luo Yuan is a traversal person, there were no real Pokemon in the past world, so he loves Pokemon extremely. This is like the world of Harley Potter, those little wizards who were born in wizarding families, because they have been exposed to magic since childhood, they are used to magic, so they don't care about magic. They may think that learning magic is as boring as learning mathematics, physics and chemistry, so many people do poorly in their studies. On the contrary, 
those traversers, or the so-called muggles, treat magic as a fairy tale, so after knowing magic, they will have a huge interest in learning magic. This is how the environment affects people. Thinking of this, Luo Yuan felt that he had a clearer view of the world. While driving, Luo Weijin explains some basic knowledge to Luo Yuan. The discovery of the bond also determines some basic rules. For example, why we can only use six Pokemon, obviously you can bring a hundred Pokemon. The most important reason is that our, human, love is limited. If you have too many Pokemon, your love will be shared, and the love given to each Pokemon will be reduced. So after a lot of data comparison and research, Pokemon scientists finally found that only six Pokemon for breeder is the best number, allowing trainer to take good care of each Pokemon. Twelve Pokemon are not impossible, but this is almost the limit of the trainer. You will find that no matter how strong the trainer is, there will only be at most two teams of Pokemon, and there will be no more breeders. Except for special occupations such as breeders. Luo Weijin's explanation made Luo Yuan realize. He has always wondered why people can only bring six Pokemon. It can be said to be a rule in the game, but it is completely unnecessary in reality. Especially the real trainer is so dangerous, the more Pokemon you bring, the safer you are. If this is the explanation, then it makes sense. According to the previous Bond theory, it can be concluded that human love is limited, if too much is distributed, then each Pokemon that is breeder will not become much stronger. The strength of Pokemon lies in the bond with trainer, in the love between the two. Seeing Luo Yuan's thoughtful expression, Luo Weijin just smiled and said, it seems that you have realized something, tell me about it. Luo Yuan said seriously, According to the bondage theory, human love is best divided into six parts, so should I find six wives? Luo Weijin stepped down, almost using the accelerator as a brake. What kind of bullshit have you realized? Dot dot dot. The car came to the National Alliance Breeding Center. After parking the car, Luo Yuan got out of the car and complained. Sister, are you good at driving? You almost got rear end just now. Luo Weijin glared at him and said, It's not your fault. Luo Weijin was speechless about Luo Yuan's shocking new thesis based on the bond theory. Walking in the National Alliance Breeding Center, Luo Yuan also looked curiously at this vast national institution. Pokemon are divided into attributes and live in different locations. Each Pokemon has a large territory of its own. It's no wonder that this place is built in the suburbs, there is not such a large supply of space in the city. Luo Yuan made a general observation, and the Pokemon here are probably between level 5 and level 10. And in this period of time's understanding of the world, Luo Yuan also probably knows that the level is not absolute. Two Pokemon with the same level of 70 have different strengths, because there is still a numerical difference, but Luo Yuan can't see the specific numerical value. Luo Weijin was also familiar with the National Alliance Breeding Center, and took Luo Yuan directly to the innermost part. Miss Luo, just when the two were welcomed to a building by the staff here, there was a voice of an old lady full of air. Luo Yuan looked back and saw a gray-haired, but tough-looking old woman walking in a formal overalls. After seeing this old lady, Luo Weijin's eyes lit up, and she greeted. Professor Li, why are you here? What's your name? Professor Lee, just Grandma Lee. The old lady was very kind and said with a smile. She walked up to Luo Yuan, looked at Luo Yuan, and asked with a smile. Is this your brother? He's a handsome guy. You two really look alike. Your family's genes are really good. Luo Weijin pulled Luo Yuan and introduced to the old woman, this is my brother Luo Yuan. Immediately, she introduced to Luo Yuan again. This is Professor Lee, one of the top breeders in our country, and also the founder and leader of the National Alliance Breeding Center. The old lady waved her hand and repeated, whatever it is called Professor Lee, just Grandma Lee. Facing the old man, Luo Yuan obediently shouted, Hello, Grandma Lee. At the same time, he also sighed in his heart, his elder sister is worthy of being one of the elite four, look at this contact. I went to the Imperial Capital Alliance Center to get to know the directors there, and I also came to the Breeder Center to get to know the leaders and top breeders here. Hey, this young man is still good. I know you're going to bring your brother here today, and I've prepared a list of Pokemon for you that can follow trainer. Boy, 
let's take a look at the list to see if there is any Pokemon you like. However, Pokemon is not chosen randomly. While trainer is choosing his partner, Pokemon is also choosing his own trainer. And Pokemon have different personalities. Not all Pokemon like to fight. Although most of the Pokemon here are the kind of covet and trainer to fight together, there is always something special. You can choose according to your own preferences first, and then go and see which Pokemon is destined for you. Professor Lee handed Luo Yuan a tablet and took the two siblings to the breeder location in the breeding center. In that near wild environment, there are many Pokemon living and waiting for their trainer. Luo Yuan turned on the tablet and flipped through it casually. He found that most of the Pokemon here are common to the general public, but there are also some rare ones. For example, Yu Sanjia and even he can see it, but there seems to be no Pokemon of the quasi-god level. And there are price tags behind these Pokemon, and the prices even range from tens of thousands to millions. Why does it cost money to choose Pokemon? Luo Yuan asked in astonishment. Luo Weijin explained to him. Dot the country allocates a large amount of money to the breeding center every year, but every big city in the country has a breeding center, and the money is really too much. Pokemon also requires a lot of resources in the process of incubation and pre-breeder, so the fee charged by the state is actually only the basic fee, otherwise these large-scale breeding centers will really not be able to continue. And you need to know that every newly registered trainer is eligible to pick the Earl Dervish Pokemon. But if there is no contribution, then those who have the talent to become a trainer will come and pick one, but they will not fulfill the responsibility of the trainer. If things go on like this, the alliance will be robbed. Therefore, letting the trainer choose to pay the former breeder's fee can also be regarded as screening out responsible people. Luo Yuan frowned and said. Then what if trainer's family doesn't support such a large financial expenditure? After all, this is a lot of money, even if it is tens of thousands of dollars, it is a huge sum of money for some families. As for those hundreds of thousands to millions, it is really not something the normal family can come up with. Alliance has also anticipated this situation a long time ago, so it will give novice trainers an interest-free loan, and they can repay it when they have money in the future. Although the trainer costs a lot, as long as you become an official trainer and are eligible to go to the secret realm, there are always ways and channels to make money. It's just that the death and injury rate of trainers has always been high, and not all parents are willing for their children to be trainers. Under normal conditions, novice trainers can only choose ordinary Pokemon. Those slightly rare Pokemon are prepared for other trainers who have made a name for themselves but have not yet assembled their teams. However, your sister and I are somewhat privileged, so I will directly bring you to pick some rare Pokemon. You can see if there is one you like, and see if Pokemon will choose you. If you really don't like the one you like, then tell me what you like. When your sister and I go to the secret realm, if we can meet one, I will help you tame one. Hearing Sister Hideki's words, Luo Yuan was moved. Sister, you are so kind to me. At this moment, Luo Yuan's heart suddenly moved, and he always felt that a strange gaze was attracting him. He looked at that gaze, looking at the Pokemon in surprise. Is that a Riolu? In this breeding center, most Pokemon live together as races. But this Pokemon is alone. It was a small, cute Pokemon with a blue body and tail, resembling a puppy. That's Lucario's degenerated form, Riolu. After seeing Riolu, Luo Yuan's eyes lit up, and he immediately thought of the extremely handsome Lucario. You must know that in the generation with Lucario, Luo Yuan would raise one when playing games, nothing else, just because he is handsome. Ever since he knew that trainer is an extremely dangerous profession, Luo Yuan retreated. He no longer cares about whether Pokemon is strong or not, and only cares about being beautiful or handsome. Besides, Lucario himself is a powerful Pokemon. In particular, Luo Yuan had a wonderful feeling that he had an incredible sense of telepathy with the Pokemon in front of him, as if he could feel the emotions of this Pokemon. And now what Luo Yuan feels on this Riolu is waves of unwillingness, sadness and pain, as well as joy after seeing him. Luo Weijin noticed Luo Yuan who had stopped, and following Luo Yuan's gaze, she also saw the lonely Riolu. Luo Weijin frowned slightly and said, that's Riolu, an extremely rare Pokemon. As if she was afraid that Luo Yuan would not understand Pokemon, she explained in detail. According to research, 
Pokemon like Riolu has the magical power to read people's hearts. They will only recognize the kind-hearted trainer, and hate the evil one. So when you see a trainer using Riolu or its evolution Lucario, you can trust that trainer's character. Then as long as I take out Riolu in the future, will everyone believe that I am an honest, kind and honest person? Luo Weijin didn't know Luo Yuan's wild thoughts, she continued. Riolu is also a kind of hardworking and persistent Pokemon, with a strong body and strong endurance, which can be said to be very popular with trainers. It's just because this kind of Pokemon is too rare, only a few trainers own them. Speaking of this, the well-informed Luo Weijin reminded. Given Riolu's rarity, it shouldn't stay here without a trainer taking it away. And judging by the fact that it is skinnier than normal's Riolu, it may have some inherent problems. Luo Weijin knew how popular this rare Pokemon was. If this Riolu had been in this breeding center, countless trainers would have fought to breed it. Professor Lee at the side said at this time. As expected of Miss Luo, she saw the problem at a glance. Pokemon was also very weak when he was born, and this little guy suffered a serious illness when he was born. Although he survived strong, he also left a lot of sequelae. Its body is thin and not suitable for fighting. No matter how much resources are spent, it may not be able to breed it well. Even though the little guy has been training himself very hard, the trainers who came and went were interested in it at first, but after knowing its innate problems, they all gave up on it regretfully. At the end, Professor Lee sighed. As the top breeder, she has an extraordinary love for Pokemon, so naturally she will pay more attention to this kind of Pokemon with congenital diseases. It's just that even some congenital problems of human beings cannot be solved with current technology, let alone that humans have not thoroughly studied Pokemon at all. When that Riolu heard Professor Lee's words, its pair of cute little ears immediately shrugged, looking very disappointed. Luo Yuan just stared at this Riolu steadfastly, and he fully felt its sadness and sadness. That's it. Luo Yuan made up his mind and pointed to Riolu with his finger. Riolu's prickly little ears stood up all of a sudden, and his red eyes looked at Luo Yuan in disbelief. It thought that Luo Yuan would give it up like the other trainers, but it didn't expect him to choose itself. Luo Yuan is the one who feels closest to him among the countless trainers he has seen in Riolu, because he feels a power similar to himself in Luo Yuan. Presumably any Riolu or Lucario will like him when they see him. It thought that it would be abandoned, but it didn't expect that there would be another village, this trainer chose itself. Li O Yu, Riolu screamed excitedly, it trotted to Luo Yuan, and screamed happily in front of him. At this moment, Luo Weijin took a deep look at Luo Yuan, and asked. Little brother, do you really choose this Riolu? Know that it is probably not suitable for combat, and has congenital problems. You may need to spend more effort to take care of it and give it more resources. When Riolu heard Luo Weijin's words, its ears perked up again, and it looked at Luo Yuan nervously. Why, can't it? Didn't it mean that trainer is picking his partner, and Pokemon is also picking trainer? I really feel that this Riolu and I are quite destined. I feel that it is close for no reason. Are you right, Riolu? Luo Yuan stretched out his hand and touched Riolu's small head with a smile. Li O Yu, Riolu nodded vigorously, yes, it also has an extraordinary closeness to Luo Yuan. Let's just leave it at that, old lady. It doesn't matter if you're almost in shape, or need more care, as long as I like it. I'm not going to be a trainer anyway, it doesn't matter if Riolu can fight or not. As for taking care of it, I have raised a cat with various diseases before, and it was really taken care of like a child. Even if Pokemon's physique is poor, it is better than a cat. Luo Yuan murmured in his heart. Riolu tearful look looked at Luo Yuan, almost crying. At this time, Luo Weijin patted Luo Yuan's shoulder hard, and said in a very second-hand way. Yes, as expected of my brother, this is like an excellent trainer. I have always thought that you have the talent of a trainer, and now it seems that I have not misunderstood you. Your love for Pokemon alone makes me see that your future is limitless. I hope that one day you will pass the elite competition and challenge me. I will be waiting for you on the throne of champion. Luo Weijin patted Luo Yuan's shoulder vigorously, her tone excited and her blood boiling. Ah, wait a minute, old lady who said I'm going to participate in some elite competition, and I didn't say that I must be a trainer. 
Also, aren't you an elite, how did you upgrade yourself to become a champion? The young man is worthy of being Luo girl's younger brother. Well, I can't say that. It should be said that I am very optimistic about you, young man. Maybe one day, you will be more powerful than your sister. Professor Lee beside him also said with relief. She looked at Riolu as if she was watching her daughter finally find a good family, and she almost wiped away her tears. Professor Lee took out a Pokeball and handed it to Luo Yuan, saying, None of the kids here have ever entered a Pokeball, so the trainer needs to find a Pokemon who is willing to score his own ball. But I don't think Riolu will refuse. Lee O Yu. As soon as Professor Lee finished speaking, Riolu couldn't wait to touch the Pokeball and dived into it himself. Luo Yuan looked at the Pokeball in his hand, I now have two Pokemon. Luo Weijin saw that Luo Yuan had chosen her, Earl Dervish Pokemon, so quickly, which was beyond her expectations. When Luo Weijin thought about it, it would take Luo Yuan a long time, and he had to accompany him around the National Breeding Center for a long time before he could get the one he wanted. After all, as Professor Lee said, trainer is choosing Pokemon, in fact Pokemon is also choosing trainer. This is different from the Pokemon conquered in the battle. Rookie trainer has not shown his ability, and Pokemon is not necessarily willing to follow you. What is really needed is fate. Usually, a rookie trainer needs to walk in the breeding center for a long time before he can choose his own covet and is willing to follow his Pokemon. It cannot be said that Luo Yuan chose Pokemon as soon as he arrived at the breeding center. It can only be said that it is relatively rare. Now that my brother has chosen, Professor Lee, let's register him as a Pokemon. All Pokemon in the National Breeding Center belong to the state property, and after being selected by Rookie Trainer, they need to be registered in the register. By the way, how much resources did this Riolu spend on Breeder before? Professor, you can also give me a figure, and I will pay for it. Although Professor Lee has always asked Luo Weijin to call her grandma instead of Professor, Luo Weijin is also in the habit of calling her, so Professor Lee let her call her that way. If someone else chooses the Riolu, I'll just give it away for free. I don't know how much resources and time will be spent on cultivating this Riolu in the future, let alone being a good breeder. But if it's Luo girl, you still have to collect the money. Anyway, you don't need this money. Professor Lee made a joke, and led Luo Weijin and Luo Yuan to the previous working building with a smile. Along the way, Luo Yuan found that except for a few staff members, there was no outsider here. He asked suspiciously, Grandma Lee, is this place usually so quiet? Professor Lee smiled and said, Dot how could it be so quiet, now is the summer vacation, and it is the busiest time for us here. Many young adults become trainers at this time, choosing their own Earl Dervish Pokemon with their parents. There are also some who didn't choose their favorite Pokemon in other regions, and finally came to the Imperial Capital to see their luck. The trainer registration allowed by the state mainly comes from two aspects. One is at least 18 years old, and the other is at least 18 years old, such as only 17 years old, but already going to college. Although there are national breeding centers all over the country, there is no doubt that the breeding centers in big cities such as the Imperial Capital and the Magic Capital are much larger. Some rookie trainers can't find a Pokemon that suits them locally, or are not selected by Pokemon, so they can only come to big cities to watch it. However, those children are selected from the front half area. Knowing that your sister is coming today, I made this area vacant on purpose. Otherwise, we may have difficulty moving an inch here. Professor Lee said with a smile, glanced at Luo Weijin, and said in a joking tone. Luo Weijin just smiled when she heard the words, her expression was calm. At this time, Luo Yuan felt the fame of her older sister even more. It is estimated that being here as an older sister is equivalent to being the world's top entertainment celebrity and sports celebrity, attracting the attention of the world wherever she goes. Boy Luo, you are a student of Imperial University. Although it is not a subject related to trainer and Pokemon research, Imperial University is also well known. I'll give you a small recipe, it's not an abuse of power. Professor Lee blinked at Luo Yuan, like an old urchin, which made Luo Yuan smile for a while. Sure enough, wherever you are, there are preferential treatment for those who study well. Like those Pokemon that are relatively rare are, 
late bloomers, the country also tends to give better students to breeder. Togedic can only determine whether a person is eligible to become a trainer. But as for the specific talent of this trainer, whether it can breed an elite or even a champion Pokemon, neither Togedic nor the National Alliance has the ability to measure it. Therefore, in this case, the young trainer's high and low points can only be based on written tests and the like, knowledge of Pokemon and breeder. This is the so-called college entrance examination. If you have the talent to become a trainer, and you have a high score to get into a good university, then of course you will get better resources. And if you are not qualified to become a trainer, but have good academic performance, you can also do research work in the future. In this world, Pokemon has been integrated into every aspect of daily life, and trainer is also a very standardized group. While speaking, the three of them returned to the office building. Professor Lee called a staff member and asked him to register. At the same time, Professor Lee also printed out all the growth data about this Riolu from birth to the present, made an electronic file, and handed it to Luo Yuan. Looking at the dense and detailed data on the paper, Luo Yuan sighed that it is not easy for the staff of these breeding centers. Considering that there are tens of thousands of Pokemon here, and every Pokemon and every Pokemon egg must be carefully and detailedly datted, this is really a lot of work. Luo Weijin also took those A4 papers and looked around, and said in surprise, this Riolu is actually a female. It's really rare. When talking about his major, Professor Lee was shocked and said. According to the researcher's research on Riolu, the male-female ratio of this Pokemon has reached 9, 1. There is only one female individual in every 10 Riolu, which is really rare. Luo Weijin put the paper back, and said to Luo Yuan. Anyway, you have chosen Pokemon, little brother. Even if this Riolu has congenital problems, I believe that as long as you breed it carefully, you can breed it into an excellent Pokemon. Riolu is a fighting type Pokemon, and the evolved Lucario is also fighting plus steel type. That's good, anyway, as long as it's not the same attribute as the woman surnamed Yu, it's fine. Hearing what his sister said, Luo Yuan's heart moved, a woman surnamed Yu. Listening to my sister's words, I knew that the relationship between my elder sister and this woman must not be very good, otherwise I wouldn't use this description. You don't know her. Luo Weijin's tone was a bit inconceivable, but she said happily afterward. It's good that you don't know her, and it's best not to know her for the rest of your life. At this time, Professor Lee smiled and explained to Luo Yuan. Lady Luo is talking about, Poppy. That child is also one of the current Elite Four, and she is good at the fairy department. Immediately, Luo Yuan knew why his elder sister had a bad relationship with that woman surnamed Yu. Both are elite four, one is a dragon elite, and the other is a fairy elite, so it's no wonder that they have a good relationship. Hearing the name, Luo Yuan asked a little strangely. Poppy, is this a nickname? Luo Weijin laughed and said. No, that's the real name, how about it, don't you feel shameless after hearing it? Luo Yuan was speechless. Indeed. The name was really bold, and I don't know how the Poppy's parents dared it. If Poppy grows up to be a beautiful woman who will overwhelm the country, then this name will definitely be a plus point, but if it is a little bit worse, then this name will be a joke. It is also because I have just been in this world for two days, and I am not familiar with everything here. After I go back, it seems that I have to check some basic daily life information on the internet. Take the Fairy Series Elite for example. In theory, even if you don't pay attention to Pokemon's information, this kind of person should know about it. Father doesn't like that surnamed you either. If you want me to say little brother, you should try to only have breeder steal Pokemon. How can there be such an attribute as fairy in this world? This attribute should let it go. Who discovered fairy type? When Luo Weijin mentioned fairy type, she said indignantly. Professor Lee kindly explained to Luo Weijin, it's Professor André from France, who first discovered the fairy type. He's been dead for years, and you don't think Retaliate has a chance. Luo Weijin was choked and speechless. Steel system. Sister, you want to specifically make me discuss the fairy department, right? Luo Yuan slanders in his heart, but he thinks that the old lady doesn't need to be afraid of any fairies, anyway, you are an elite of the flying system, so you are afraid of AP fairy. Followed by Luo Yuan's second thought, although the mega evolution does not know when it will be discovered, it should not be too far away. 
At that time, my sister's Altaria Mega Evolution will also have a fairy attribute, I don't know what expression she will show. Inexplicably, he looked forward to it. Come on, little brother. In order to celebrate you becoming a trainer, I will personally teach you in the first trainer game. Luo Weijin took out her Pokeball at this time and said in a bold tone. She could feel that Luo Yuan didn't seem to care much about the way of trainer. This is not acceptable, in her opinion, her younger brother is very talented as a trainer, how can she waste her talent? When Luo Yuan heard about trainer's competition, he immediately waved his hands and said. Forget it, Riolu is still young, so he is not suitable for participating in the competition. You are not bullying people. Professor Lee on the side also chimed in. That Riolu is so thin and has not been trained by trainer breeder yet. If you fight against a Pokemon like yours who is either an elite or a champion, then it is simply abusing Pokemon. Luo Weijin raised her eyebrows and said. I didn't ask you to fight with Riolu. Don't you still have a Pokemon? Professor Lee looked at Luo Yuan when he heard Luo Weijin's words. Does this guy have any other Pokemon? Isn't Riolu his Earl Dervish Pokemon? Then why did you register as a trainer to get Pokemon today? Oh, it must be that this girl brought her younger brother to collect the Wool of Alliance, this is not the first time this girl has done such a thing. Professor Lee was amused. Professor Lee is not surprised that Luo Yuan may have other Pokemon. Absolute fairness itself cannot really exist. Those powerful trainers, their children are not necessarily qualified to become trainers. But if it is the kind of talented and capable, second-generation training, they may have trained with Pokemon and learned systematic trainer knowledge before registering as a trainer. Moreover, the Earl Dervish Pokemon of this kind of trainer is likely to be given by the family. Of course, the Pokemon is not given to the other party, and the other party can use it directly. This also requires the new trainer to develop a bond with the Pokemon. Therefore, for this kind of trainer with good family conditions, normal just let their children develop a relationship with Pokemon first, and then start training when they are old. Due to the years of emotional cultivation, the two parties have a deep bond. This kind of Pokemon who grew up with trainer will grow very fast. Luo Weijin's Altaria is just like breeders. The father of Luo Yuan and Luo Weijin is the gymnasium owner of the imperial capital, and he is one of the absolute top trainers. In Professor Li's opinion, it is reasonable for Luo Yuan to have other Pokemon since he was a child, although he doesn't know why he didn't register for trainer until he was about to enter his senior year. Professor Li was not aware of Luo Yuan's previous mental illness. Forget it, I have no combat experience, what if I accidentally get injured? Luo Yuan politely refused. Those Pokemon battles are horrible. Well, it's like being in a battlefield. I can't handle it in my little body. Therefore, we must firmly refuse. At this time, Luo Weijin also saw Luo Yuan's thoughts. He was not rejecting the battle, but the kind of battle that required trainer and Pokemon to gallop on the battlefield together. Luo Weijin could also understand this. The country's education is actually educating the trainer from an early age to overcome this. So before the university, they used the ordinary command and battle method, until after the university, they gradually got used to the real fighting. This is the course that trainer must go through. Because in the secret realm, the Pokemon in the secret realm will not fight you fairly, and beatings and sneak attacks on trainer abound. That's why trainer's casualty rate is so high. Luo Yuan hadn't even participated in ordinary duels before, so it was very reasonable to resist that kind of dangerous duel. But since there is no teacher teaching him now, let's make myself the younger brother's teacher. Immediately, Luo Weijin said, We will use the high school student's fighting method, let you get used to it first. Hearing what Luo Weijin said, Luo Yuan was moved. After all, we have come to the Pokemon world, so of course we have to enjoy the battle. It's just that the fighting method he saw before was too scary, so he subconsciously refused. But if it's a fighting style similar to that in games or animations, Luo Yuan thinks it's no problem. Immediately, Luo Yuan was also eager to try. Okay, then let's have a try. Seeing this, Professor Li smiled and said, There is a battlefield here, I will take you there. Girl Luo, do you need me to find some psychic type Pokemon to protect the field? 
Professor Lee understands that the destructive power of elite-level and champion-level Pokémon is beyond imagination. In an official match, if there is not enough protection, it is estimated that after a battle, there is no telling how many of the 100,000 spectators can survive. No, I just let him feel the atmosphere of the battle, no protection is needed. Luo Weijin shook her head and said. Even if Luo Yuan has a champion-level Latias, Luo Weijin still doesn't think it will take much effort to defeat Luo Yuan. The battle of Pokémon has never been based on the strength of Pokémon, but also the strength of trainer. They complement each other. From Luo Weijin's point of view, Luo Yuan probably doesn't even know what Latias skills are and what effects they use. In a real fight, he would probably be in a hurry, and the conductor didn't know how to do it, so he could handle it casually. Professor Lee felt that Luo Weijin was right. After all, Luo Weijin is also an Elite Four of Sha Guo, and Luo Yuan just got her trainer qualification certificate today. In Professor Lee's opinion, the outcome of this duel was decided from the very beginning. With Luo Weijin's strength, it is absolutely no problem to control the Pokémon's output. Even a gambling company probably wouldn't open the market for the outcome of this kind of duel, because this is giving money away. At most, it is to open a market for how long Luo Yuan can last. Under the leadership of Professor Li, Luo Yuan and Luo Weijin soon came to a standard battlefield. It is standard, but Luo Yuan found that the playing field is quite large. It was completely different from the kind of field in the few animations he had seen in the past. The entire playing field was almost the size of a football field. But thinking of the power of the Pokémon I watched on TV, each of them is like a biological weapon, and it is understandable to use such a large venue. After all, the reality is not games and animations, you can save and restart after death, even if you are hit by Thunderbolt, you will not suffer any injuries. A Dragon Elite match, even if it's just a rookie trainer, will probably fill the venue. To prevent trouble, I didn't tell other people. When there are too many people, you will feel annoyed, girl. Professor Lee said with a smile, and brought Luo Yuan and Luo Weijin to the arena. This is like a football field-sized competition field, and the surrounding seats are very empty. Professor Lee, you don't need to come with me, it will delay your work. If too many people came to watch the battle, Luo Weijin might find an excuse to make people leave. The main reason is that she knew that the Pokémon Luo Yuan was going to use for a while was Latias. This extremely rare beast, if a trainer gets it, it will definitely cause an uproar. Luo Weijin is not afraid that someone will snatch it, Pokémon is not something that can be snatched, what she is afraid of is that too much attention will bring troubles to Luo Yuan's life. Even if one day Luo Yuan gains attention, Luo Weijin also hopes that that day will be the day when Luo Yuan has firmly established the trainer path and will no longer be influenced by other people's words. It can be said that for her younger brother, Luo Weijin, as an older sister, is also heartbroken. It's not that the breeding center can't function without me. If that's the case, then I have to worry even more. For this game, I will be the witness and referee. Although Professor Li is not a trainer, but a top breeder, she is also excited about the battle of Pokémon. In other words, 90% of the people in this world have great enthusiasm and concern for Pokémon competitions. Because people's lives have long been closely related to Pokémon, the strength of a country is also the strength of the trainer in that country. The Pokémon competition has involved all aspects of politics, economy, entertainment and so on. Then, now let's invite the trainers from both sides to appear. Professor Lee is old, but he is also an old naughty boy, and he shouted like a referee. Luo Weijin didn't care about Professor Lee watching the battle because she knew that Professor Li was not a talkative person, even if she saw Luo Yuan's Latias, she would not say it. At most, some people at the top of the alliance will know. Of course, Luo Weijin was already prepared for the fact that the upper echelons of the National Alliance knew about it, and even wished that the upper echelons of the National Alliance knew about it. Why? Because the upper echelon of the National Alliance knew a young trainer in the country, and got the follow of a beast like Latias. That will definitely attract attention, so as to give more resource support and tilt, so that the younger brother can go more smoothly on the road of trainer. Luo Weijin has become an old professional when it comes to pulling alliance wool. Luo Yuan, 
who has just traveled to this world for two days, has never participated in any Pokemon competition. Although this is not an official game, Luo Yuan still feels a burst of excitement. Childhood Dream will start to realize the first step here. Standing on both sides of the field, Luo Weijin said regretfully, dot the field is too big. Normally, it is difficult to give orders to Pokemon in this kind of high school competition. But fortunately, there are no spectators now, and the venue is relatively quiet, so the game is no problem. Go, Altaria. After Luo Weijin finished speaking, she just threw her Pokeball casually, and the Flash's Altaria appeared in the field. She, Altaria, who was once cute and cute at home, showed a powerful momentum at this time. Even Luo Weijin, who had been taking care of Luo Yuan, became cold and arrogant at this moment, like a proud dragon. Daily life is daily life, Pokemon battles are Pokemon battles, Luo Weijin has always made these distinctions very clear. You actually sent Altaria directly. This girl wants to teach her younger brother seriously. Professor Lee sighed upon seeing this. As one of Sha Guo's Elite Four, all trainers in the world are familiar with Luo Weijin, so naturally they all know that Altaria is her strongest Pokemon. Little brother, release your Pokemon. Next, I will teach you the basic way of Pokemon fighting. For example, you first need to know what skills your Pokemon has and the effect of each skill. These things should be understood in daily training, but it is easier to impress you on the field. It doesn't matter if you don't know what skills your Pokemon has, you can let your Pokemon attack with Solacean to find out what her abilities are. Now, release your Pokemon. Hearing Luo Weijin's imposing words, Luo Yuan took a deep breath and took out the Pokeball from his waist. I don't know what technology Pokeball uses, it can be big or small. As the little Pokeball became its original size, Luo Yuan also threw the Pokeball out. Come on, Latias, Laddie. A flash of light and smoke flashed, and Latias, graceful figure appeared in the arena. Both Altaria and Latias were floating in midair, and the aura emitted by the two champion-level Pokemon made the air seem to stop flowing temporarily. That's, the legendary Latias. Professor Lee's pupils shrank suddenly, and he exclaimed. He couldn't help but leaned forward, and pressed both hands on the railing in front of him. She looked excited and looked at Luo Yuan with incredible eyes. That is Latias, although it is not the legendary Pokemon, but it is also a mythical beast. Throughout the history of Pokemon, there are very few trainers who can control mythical beasts, and this Latias is as powerful as that Altaria. In other words, this is a champion Latias. Professor Lee became more and more unbelievable. When she helped Luo Yuan register Pokemon just now, she knew that today was the first day for Luo Yuan to register as a trainer. But it is such a rookie who became a trainer on the first day, and actually owns a champion level Latias, what is going on in this world? Professor Lee felt that his three views were about to collapse. This lad owns a champion Latias at such a young age that he is going to shock the world one day. No wonder that girl Luo Weijin pays so much attention to her younger brother. To be recognized by Aladius, but still at the champion level, it shows that Luo Yuan must have something special about him. At the same time, Professor Li looked at Latias with burning eyes. She really wanted to measure Latias' length, measure her weight, ask her what kind of food she likes to eat, and what her usual living environment is like. This is the professional instinct of being a breeder. Luo Weijin was also a little excited at this time. Although Luo Yuan is a rookie trainer, Latias is a divine beast. Even Luo Weijin was fighting a divine beast for the first time. Although both Latias and Altaria are champions, Latias is definitely stronger than Altaria. But even so, Luo Weijin is sure of winning, because in her opinion, the level of trainer is very different. Luo Weijin took a deep breath, and taught Luo Yuan. Little brother, don't think that owning a champion level Latias makes you feel strong. Although this Latias is a mythical beast, she is not a legendary Pokemon. Latias priesthood does not belong to her, but to her other clan members. Normal's trainer may not be Latias' rival, which is enough for her to complete the team, but for a real elite or even a champion, it is impossible for her to do it. Luo Weijin was afraid that Luo Yuan would get carried away, so she reminded her. Don't worry, ma'am, I'm not so arrogant that I think I'm invincible with Latias. Luo Yuan didn't feel annoyed by Luo Weijin's reminder, but nodded seriously. 
he knew that it was his sister who was doing it for his own good. Apart from Latius, he now only has a level 5 Riolu. The gap in strength is still too great. Luo Yuan also knew something about the priesthood that Luo Weijin called. The so-called clergy is the unique symbol of the legendary Pokemon. For example, Pokemon such as Dialga and Palkia have priesthood, so they are called legendary Pokemon. And other Pokemon, such as Latias, Zapdos and other ethnic Pokemon, except for the legendary Pokemon who holds the priesthood, the others can only be called mythical beasts. The legendary Pokemon with the holy title also possesses absolutely incredible power. Of course, even Pokemon with a priesthood will have different power performances, but this world does not give a specific division. However, Luo Yuan gave his own division in his heart, which is according to the classification of first-level gods and second-level gods that people often say. In Luo Yuan's memory, Latios and Latias symbolize the reason and sensibility of human beings. But even if they are mythical beasts without priesthood, since they are called mythical beasts, they are naturally far more powerful than normal Pokémon. Luo Yuan's eyes fell on Latias at this time. He was shocked to find that after the battle started, he could not only see Latias' level, but even Latias' skill list. In reality, it is different from the game. It is impossible for Pokémon to have only four skills. Latias has at least 20 skills. All of a sudden, Luo Yuan calmed down. If you know that he really didn't know what skills Latias possessed before, but now that he suddenly knows what Latias has mastered, it will be easy to handle. After a brief look at the skills Latias has mastered, Luo Yuan directly said that Latias is indeed too strong. Especially her various skills, she is simply the top support and nurse, worthy of being a divine beast. At this moment, Luo Weijin saw Luo Yuan standing there motionless, just staring at Latias, she smiled inwardly, thinking that Luo Yuan was at a loss and didn't know what to do. This is also a common problem of novice trainers. If this is the case, then you can use some unconventional means to start the game. Altaria, Dragon Dance, Luo Weijin quickly made a decision, and immediately asked Altaria to perform the Dragon Dance. This skill cannot be learned by Altaria itself, but after spending a lot of dragon resources and hard training, her Altaria has mastered the Dragon Dance. She, Altaria chirped, and it danced around in a circle on the spot. In an instant, Altaria's aura began to skyrocket, with incredible fluctuations of dragon energy escaping from it. Under normal circumstances, Luo Weijin would never use the Dragon Dance as an opening move so blatantly, it would simply be using herself as a target for the opponent to hit. If you want to use Dragon Dance, you have to seize the opportunity to use it. But if it is a novice like Luo Yuan, Luo Weijin feels that there is no problem with this kind of wrong start that he would never use normally. After all, even if Luo Yuan, who is a trainer, doesn't know how to command, Latias is a champion-level beast after all, with absolutely rough skin and thick flesh. I need the particularity of my skills to open up the situation. Otherwise, if an elite fights against a novice trainer and cannot take down the opponent easily, wouldn't it appear that he is very incompetent? Just when Luo Weijin's order was issued, Luo Yuan's order also appeared at the same time. Quote dot dot dot. Latias, Dragon Pulse. Latias opened the dragon's mouth, and the powerful dragon's energy gathered from her mouth, and then turned into a beam of light and blasted out. How come? Luo Weijin's beautiful eyes widened, and she shouted in disbelief. How does the younger brother know that Latias will dragon pulse? Could it be a trick? But at this time Luo Weijin didn't have time to think too much, she could only anxiously say. Get out of the way, Altaria. Altaria is worthy of being a champion Pokemon, and it also has a connection with Luo Weijin, although because of the use of Dragon Dance, it has a stalemate in its movements. But at the critical moment, he barely avoided the Dragon Pulse. But even if Dragon Pulse didn't make a full hit, Altaria accidentally rubbed half of his body, causing it to grunt in pain. The Dragon Pulse's beam of light crossed Altaria and blasted into the empty auditorium. Boom! With a loud bang, it was as if a C4 bomb had been installed in the auditorium. The powerful dragon's energy exploded, and the chairs and rock fragments flew randomly, and even blasted a big hole in the playing field the size of a football field, allowing people to see the outside environment from the inside. Seeing this scene, Luo Yuan gritted his teeth. 
Let me just say that trainer is too dangerous. If someone insists on Latias Dragon Pulse, he will definitely be bombed to death. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.